Hello, welcome back. We're going to be doing the rifts. Um, we've got, let's have a look. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Uh, Occupied Paris. Um, I did say I would wait a little bit, but um, I've actually got into the story, so I kind of thought that I'd spend a little bit of time just getting these done. Uh, these rifts stay in place as well, so you're able to just continue going back in over and over and over again. But we've got uh, Covert, uh, Tower, and Data Harvest. So, let's see what order they're in. Covert, Data Harvest, and the Tower. Okay, so this one first. And this one. I know. Ha ha. Right. So. Okay. Let's get it. Running. kind of things we get up to in Occupy Paris. Didn't expect that they would do this kind of thing, but uh, yeah. The more data you can collect, the better your reward. But the assassin is more important. The data is desyncing. You need to collect it or it'll be gone for good. Data received. And 
escape. A job well done. Our agents are never safe in the helix, though, so help them when you can. Follow the leader. Nice. You play action. <laughs> hey! So, that. You actually follow someone else going through. Um, back to Helix. Um, so mine should now be on there. So if anyone else can uh, beat that score, they get the Uplay action completed and uh, away you go. So it hits you more Uplay points, which are going to be useful probably next time out in Assassin's Creed Victory. But um, for what? We don't know. Just have to wait and see. That was actually quite interesting. I like I like doing that. So you need to. Um, do I need to reload my stuff? Because I used quite a few phantom blades in there. So it would be nice to know. So that was the covert. Next we've got data harvest, which don't know what that's going to be like. So. Oh, it does. Yeah, you do need to reload. Now that is quite surprising, but... Right. Data harvest. If you've never played it before, it's always worth going back and reloading because you never know if you're going to need it so just take your time go back reload rearm and come into the new part okay the more data you can collect the better your reward but the assassin is more important they don't see this one's encrypted wait wait five These are only the tens, but they'll lead to other stuff. So, no, 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 up, 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 up. There we go. Finally. Comes from deep within the helix. Well done. And 
over it because you saw the amount of data that was over here. Let's go. Ten seconds left. Excellent. This could hold some major. Five seconds. Hold on. Three. Two. One. The simulation is breaking up. Pay that and do that again. The more data you can collect, the better your reward. But the assassin is more important. This will come in handy. Hold on a second. I need to decrypt it. We're losing that data. Try to reach it before it's gone completely. Wow, this should make our researchers very happy. Hold on, decrypting. Data received. The data is breaking down. Get to it before we lose it. Right. Okay. It's actually worth following the leader a little bit. Chances are you're going to beat them, but try to follow them. If you see um, a node that they've obviously missed that's valuable, go for it. Chances are you'll beat them by 10 or 20. 
or in that case a couple of hundred. Do, 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 do. On to the next one. And the last riff for this section. Then we're on to doing the co-op stuff. Once I get access to all three rifts, then I'll go for the artifacts, and it's not too far away from being there anyway. And. By Paris Tower. And this time I am going to follow the leader. I'm not really interested in beating them, but uh, we'll try. You don't have much time. Read the assassin and try to collect the data he found. We're losing that data. Try to reach it before it's gone completely. I think this data could really help us. That's freeing ten. A job well done. Our agents are never safe in the helix, though, so help them when you can. By a mile. Yeah, uh, back to helix. 
it's much much easier to use the phantom blade than it is to use your weapon as you saw there so just just keep on doing it over and over and over again what I have found though is there are some instances with the phantom blade that uh, causes it to need need to be reloaded which I didn't think ever happened but I've, I've encountered that during the Paris stories as well you expect to shoot and he's busy reloading it's annoying So, yes, we shall see. Oh, there should now also be a memento. Oh, potential sage list. I don't care about the Friends Day concept, uh, content yet. Game. Well, not, not at the minute, anyway. Yeah, what, what I have noticed after completing the Paris stories and the social club missions, more the social club missions, uh, there are more um, friendly people roaming the streets compared to the red dudes, uh, the fanatics. So doing the social club missions will definitely make your life a little bit easier. So they're worth doing even if you're not that keen on doing them. Right. But... As I said before, they're actually more fun. Ah, memories. Two or three. Oh, hello. That one, I didn't realize that I collected anything. Interesting.
find out what that extra thing is because that's bugging me now so I've got to get the other reward in every one of them that's annoying right I'll be back in a bit.